Hey Tubes, check this out. This is something kind of interesting here I want to share with you guys because this, this could really save you a lot of frustration. Uh, this is a Honda HRX 217 uh, self-propelled lawnmower. And I was doing some work on it for a neighbor of mine. Uh, I, I did, he stripped out the, the bolts to hold the blades on so I replaced that flange. I did the air filter. I did, I did some work on it for him. Uh, but I started the thing up to test it out, make sure everything was okay. And I happened to notice that the recoil starter was making a bit of noise. Kind of sound like a, a scratching noise. It was somewhat intermittent, and it sounded like it was just dragging somewhat. So I took the thing apart. I uh, I filmed the video. I showed I was I ground down something inside. I thought was made the teeth get stuck in there. I tried to fix that. It didn't work. I tried to tighten it and loosen it a little bit. Nothing worked. Okay. I even tried because it seemed like it wasn't as bad. When I, when, this was, when I lifted this off a little, so I put some washers in here, that didn't work. What I found is that when I pulled the string out to, a, to about here, now this happens just to be where, it's, uh, where it grabs, but it's about here, um, I noticed that the sound stops. So what I think is that the string is just too long. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up for you, uh, show you when I, when I pull it out, a certain distance that it stops. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut the string. It's only about four or five inches I have to cut off. And then we're going to check it out again. Because I think this might be the solution to my problem. And I'm sure somebody else is having this problem too. So, stand by. I'll set you guys on the tripod. Alright, I'm going to start it up. And you'll hear the noise. Sometimes it's more intermittent and sometimes it seems worse. I'm not sure why that is. But then I'm going to go ahead and pull the string out. It's uh, usually about right about here you know six or seven inches or so is where I feel that it's no longer making the noise at all so I'm going to start it up and we'll double check that and I'm going to go ahead and cut the string tie a knot and see how it works It's out to here I don't think I'm hearing the noise so I got my clippers here we have to be careful we don't let go of this because that's that wouldn't be good we'll lose it and make our cut thought I messed up there but I, I was fine thought I cut too much off so take this out let's just remove the old string I will take the new one here and Keep in mind that the mistake I just made it seems like it won't go any farther, but that's because it's uh, it's gripping on the engine now because it's not running. We'll push our string out through here. Go ahead and tie a knot. I'm gonna make sure it's a good knot too, because I don't want this to come undone. This is gonna go to my. Uh, my neighbor's mom, so I don't want her to have any trouble with it. That's more than good enough. So now, let's go ahead and try it again. Uh, let's put this through here. Alright, here goes. So I do hear the noise a little bit. Now I know you guys can't see in the frame, but I can still pull this string out pretty far. So I'm going to go ahead and it only needs, to, I'd say it only needs to take off about three inches. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off, we're going to do our knot, and uh, we'll test it one more time. Alright, we're going to go ahead and give it one more go here, see if it's okay. Tubes. I think we're good to go. Thanks for watching and hope it helped. 
And uh, follow me on Twitter too, at Dirtbike5100 for more tips, tricks, and uh, project updates. Okie dokie.